who actually made money from the coin promoted by Andrew Tate, Daddy. I was wondering that because I can check all the transaction, right? And we can see the top traders. I want to know who made a million dollars, 600K, 700K. I want to know how I can do the same myself because I checked on Twitter and I did not see many people publishing their wins and how much money they made. It's mostly Andrew Tate talking about there someone made money and fortunately the blockchain is an open ledger so welcome on handsome finance where we study what's happening on chain because the blockchain is an open ledger so we can see all the transaction who made money who lost money follow the smart money and make even more money that's why i checked all the top wallets how much they made and how they did it so like this i am the one who will be making a million dollar on the next coin or you will be if you're subscribed to Handsome Finance. By the way, it took me days to do this research, so I really hope you will enjoy and be sure to stay till the end to understand all the alpha you could get. The first thing we have to know before we start to dig in is that Andrew Tate is a liar. I call him lying on chain because I can check all the transaction and I did a video. This message that he said, someone said that they're gonna send him $15 million USD and the addresses that he put is actually one of his wallets. I tracked down his wallet back then, so I remember that. So if you want to watch this video and understand why Andrew Tate is a liar, you can just check that. But let's check first who made the launch. Before starting to get into anything, we have to understand how did the launch go and how did it happen. I launched myself more than eight meme coins, so I know one thing or two about it. One thing is Bubble Map say that on the coin daddy, there was 30% of the supply owned by the same person. We know that on launch, daddy had a massive insiders, but how did the launch happen? The launch was made on the platform pump.fun, which is a platform that lets you launch a token for less than $4. The interesting part here is that in less than five minutes, the coin went live. It means when it reached 100% of the bonding curve, Everyone can trade it on the open market with Radium. When you reach Radium, you can see it on Dex Screener. That's why you have the little logo Radium here. We can know the developer, which was Tate Waite, coin created. He only created this coin. And I checked the transaction of creation of this coin, which is really unusual because it put 66 soul right away in the first transaction. That means that the developer almost filled up the full bonding curve by himself. And where it starts to be pretty strange is that it was launched at 8.10 p.m. UTC time. We will stay on UTC time, so if you watch the time on your side, it will be in your time zone, so you have to convert it to UTC. And we know that as soon as it was launched on the radium, this person started to sell the daddy token at regular intervals, almost every minute, and different amounts. So I checked all those transactions, and it made only $3,000. Now, the weird thing for me is that this is not a DGEN. This person used a different behavior twice. When he launched the token and how he sold the token. Usually DGNs will have automatic orders and limit orders because this is what you can do with those bots. For example, for myself, every time it goes up 100% automatically, I sell 35%, 250%. Okay, you get it. And then the problem is that this person did not move any of the funds. But honestly, it's nothing compared to how much money was made by the top traders because those insiders, they knew something you didn't and you will see that they made multiple million dollars. It's a bit strange that this trader is just keeping his 50 soul on his wallet and not doing anything. He haven't traded. He haven't done anything since the daddy launch. What I know is that as we can combine all the transaction, we know who were the top traders on this coin. And I'm just going to take the top eight because I want people that made at least 500k. And you will see that what they're hiding from us is dirty. Let's start by the bottom of the addresses because I know it's Andrew Tate's favorite position. I'm just going to take the last address and check in SoulScan what are they up to. Here, as I see all the transactions happening at the same time, 
and in the same block or almost every time I can know that this is a bot trying to maximize the transaction they do sandwich attack and those guys made 562k for the top traders from 5 to 7 I can see that they're probably from the same group because they all start by DCAK and you can make those addresses start by whatever you want if you're a developer, you can do it. I can do it. So everyone can do it, I guess. Those guys, I know right away that this is bots. They put the transaction in the same block, as you can see. So the transaction happened not even in the same minutes, but in the same second. As the blockchain is a series of blocks that goes one after the other, right? When you check them, they don't care which coin they trade. They trade everything and they're just going to try to extract value by buying before you buy and then selling on you in the same block. It's a really smart thing and it's really profitable. Now, where it starts to get really interesting, it's all those addresses here because I believe that they come from the same group. For example, this trader number four, D8ZZ, this guy made... 650k not bad what is strange about this address is that he only traded daddy so maybe he has daddy issues i can understand last time i met this girl and she said you remind me my dad so i slapped the shit out of her i'm kidding i just left her and ghosted her she also said that i look like the guy that will make her pregnant but will not marry her and i took it as a compliment back to our trader d8zz he sent $1.5 million to this wallet. Strangely, this wallet did not move any funds. We still have 800k stuck in it. We know that this guy bought pretty early, did not sold, and bought a little bit more just before Andrew Tate made his tweet. And then it started to skyrocket. And it took profit. He took profit at the right time, selling, 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 without any problem. Now, how come this wallet was just created to trade daddy coin. I don't know. I'm not the one to judge here. I'm just the one to talk and to say what we can see on chain. And that's how you could have made a lot of money. Also find two other wallets that were pretty small where he trade and sent only 2.5 Solana, send it to another. But the one that really brought all the money to buy daddy was this wallet. And that one is one of the most interesting wallets that I found because it's someone that traded a lot of different coins and swapped them directly in the same wallet, right? He buys some Hapu, he sells some Hapu. He buy and sell in the same thing. However, we can see that he's buying multiple times daddy in a bigger amount. He changes behavior totally like it was someone new. Buying, 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 buying. And instead of selling from the same wallet, he start to send those daddy somewhere else to other wallets, which is just a pass-through wallet where he receive the daddy, receive the soul. And what he does is that he sends them to another wallet. And when we check those wallets, they're the one who sent it to the exchange. How convenient is it that this person knew that this token will be launched and listed on some exchange but did not sell it and waited to sell it on the exchange i don't know well who am i to judge who am i to judge we just know that this person bought a lot then send it to other wallets and change the behavior completely now i know bear with me because what you're gonna see for the wallet two and the wallet three is just amazing so here we know that we have a pnl that is around 700k but we have a lot more because we sent a lot of those money to maxi and then probably dumped it on the retail that bought it there because the first wallet our top trader who made one million dollar is a smart guy and when i check his transactions i know that again this is a bot this is a nerd i, I know andrew Tate hate nerds but they are making, they are milking his community and himself. Every time he's buying a big clip of it, probably those guys front run him. Poor him though. If he was using a bot like basetrading.com, he would not get front run. Plus this is free to use. You can open a trade on your laptop and then close it in Telegram. Magical. Now, let me 
finish with the best punchline if it was a comedy show. The best thing we could find is those two wallets that made 680k and why? Okay, this is going to be beautiful. You have no idea because they all link to one address which is that one. That's going to be the most important address we will see today. I don't know. They thought we were stupid, I guess. But if you want to cover your trace, do it smartly. We do not have any proof, actually, that this is hold by Andrew Tate. We have the proof that he's a liar about the screenshots that he shows and that he's inventing himself a life of people making a lot of money with his crypto and coins that he promotes. We are sure about that. We validate that, that he was lying two or three times. Validated 100%. Now, for those ones, we have this address, okay, that sold a lot. So we have a wallet number two that made 700K that was funded from Solana plus Daddy from this address. And that address was funded by this address, which is a change now address. So I can't prove or go into details about who sent the money to that address. However, what I can know is that all the address is connected to that one. And this one made 230K from Daddy and sent the profit to this one, which is just a pass-through address, and then send it to that one, which is a centralized exchange or a bridge. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to check together. Then we got this address that also is the top trader too and made money on Genie. This one made 32K and that one who made 268K. Both of them have the same pattern where we send through a pass-through address and then the funds go here. This one did not move the funds, I guess because the profits are too small for them to care. But we get our second best trader, which is 2XV, and he traded multiple coins in the last six days. This is quite different patterns, but not the same thing. He sent the profit to 2Q, which is a pass-through address, and then send it back to this one. The thing is with this address, I'm not 100% sure yet what I can extract from it. I started to work with some people. If you want, you can help me. You come on Twitter. Even if you can't help me, just come and give a follow because sometimes I put some great insights things that I learn, and you would get better at trading. But what is the moral of the story? What do you need to remember before you leave? Is that actually why we check those best traders? This is something that I always do in the Investors Boardroom, my private group, where I teach everything about on-chain analysis, is we follow the smartest trader, and we can know how they make it, how we can follow them. Now, the one from Andrew Tate, we probably can't follow them. I'm not sure yet. I have few addresses to check in the backlog and maybe we will get an alpha with it. But what I can tell you, and normally this is not financial advice, but I guess I can give a financial advice this time. Stay away from celebrity coins because the celebrity is here to make money on you and the people who are launching with them, they're here to make money on you. So you're left with a lot less power than they do. And that's why you should just stay away. However, if you want to be able to make those 10x, 100x, oh, even I wish you the 1000 head, you should check out this video because this is where I explain you how you can get some pure alpha and protect yourself from just having the people making all the money on you. I mean, those guys made 500k here, 1.2 million, 2 million, 2.5 million dollars off the back of normal traders.